Yes, Coach, look with the comment. Raise your hands. Keep them up for a second. Let me get you down. How's that going? Look, I'm really pleased with, uh, I think this was a really good team win for us. I think it was a goal to go out there and play for four quarters. I think it was a goal to finish the game the right way. Um, and I think it was a, a goal to try to create, continue to create an identity for the team in terms of how they compete, everybody's commitment to discipline, to execute, the kind of effort and intensity we want to play with, the kind of toughness we want to play with. So I, I was pleased with um, the way the players responded and, and did that in the game. Obviously, there's a few things to clean up. Um, we turned the ball over uh, a couple of times on special teams, um, you know, on offense. Um, you know, we uh, got way too many penalties, especially there at the end of the game when we were trying to play some other players. Um, gave up a touchdown drive and had three 15-yard uh, penalties in that drive. So, um, plenty of things to clean up, um, but I thought we had good balance on offense. Um, Thought we controlled line scrimmage for the most part. Um, defensively, we did a good job against their run, forced them to be one-dimensional, um, and didn't do a good job on third down on the field goal drive. I think they converted three third down opportunities in that drive, which extended the drive, and they ended up scoring points. But all in all, you know, there's a lot of good things out there, and we got to play a lot of players, and um, we're, we're really happy about that. And, It'll be a learning experience and helpful to them in their future. We'll start over here on the left with Chris Walsh. Uh, I'm wondering if you could elaborate a little bit more on how the team responded. Did you see that all this week that the team responded the way that, that you had hoped from the Texas A&M game? I, I think we learned a lot of lessons in the Texas A&M game. Um, I think we gradually responded and um, I didn't know how the team would play today to be honest with you. I didn't know exactly how we would do it. I think we had a little better week of practice. And um, so uh, I was pleased with their effort today. And you know, we did prepare a little bit better for this game. Far second there. What do you see from the passing game tonight? In seven games, have you seen the kind of progression you want out of the passing game? Yeah, I mean, we, we I think we need to continue to improve in that regard. Uh, I think tonight we had some play action passes open that we weren't able to hit because we got pressure in the pocket. Um, so it's not a matter of, you know, I think Jalen has made some really good throws. I think he continues to make good throws. Um, but I also think that we need to clean up the protection, the pressure in the pocket, the timing, um, and be a little more consistent in that regard. But I thought we made some good plays in passing game today. We'll go in the middle with Ryder. How pleased were you with the pressure that you were able to apply to Kelly? Well, I thought it was uh, a real key, you know, in the game. Uh, him being a young quarterback, we wanted to not just let him stand there and be able to pick out people and try to play coverage all the time. So uh, I think our, did a, our guys did a pretty good job of affecting him. Um, we lost contain a few times, uh, which hurt us. But uh, I think overall, uh, I thought we did a pretty good job of getting pressure on them and, and create some negative plays. Right side for Chandler. You had said during this week that you wanted to get some more guys involved in the offense, Najee, Josh, Jacobs. How, how did you like how Jalen was able to spread the ball around the passing game and you guys were able to run with a lot of different guys? Well, I, I, I think that uh, we, we were excited for that. You know, I want the guys to be able to play. Um, you know, I thought Damian had a really good great game today. He had a great run to kick off the game. And, I thought he made some really nice runs in the game, and uh, Bo got going a little bit, and we got the chance to play the other guys, and we had several receivers get involved. So uh, I think that's good that we can spread the ball around. We're going to need more weapons in the future, and for those guys to gain confidence in what they're doing, I think is really important to us. Okay. Back left side with Jeff Spiegel. Nick, when you get off to a good start like you did tonight, Damian busted a 75-yard run 15 seconds into the game. What does that do as far as the positive energy for your team? Well, I think it's huge, but I also have been in games where you do that and then all of a sudden everybody has relief syndrome and thinks that it's going to be easy and uh, you kind of let up a little bit and then you go sort of run dry for a while. So I've seen it work both ways, but I was pleased that we were able to sustain, you know, after that and continue to play. Uh, we had a few bumps. Uh, they started pressuring us quite a bit when, you know, I think we're ahead 24 to 3 
or 17 to 3 and gave us a few negative plays. And, um, but I think once we settled down, uh, got back into the rhythm, we did a nice job of finishing the game in the second half. We're here to tear. What went wrong in special teams, especially with the punt returns? And how do you go about cleaning that up so there aren't any fumbles? Well, you know, does anybody not know what went wrong? The guy missed the ball. He missed the ball. He missed the ball. So, you know, I like it when guys set on the ball, get their hands up by their eyes where they can see their fingertips uh, so they don't catch the ball low. You know, both balls he caught below his waist or tried to. And when the ball drops from here to there, there's a blind spot, right? And, you know, you, you enhance the chances of not making a clean catch. So, you know, I think when Trayvon Diggs missed the one that he missed, he actually took his eyes off the ball to see if he should fair catch it or return it. And I think then when he went back to the ball, he misjudged it slightly and hit his, hit his pads. But um, we need to clean that up. There's no doubt about that. It should be a weapon for us. It's something that we want to we – we have explosive players. We should be able to make positive yards on pump return. We want to have a, a first down average in terms of the field position change, you know, with our pump return. And, uh, but the most important thing is possession of the ball. And obviously tonight that was a bit of an issue. Three balls middle. on the ground, we only lost one, but we're fortunate. In the middle with Ben. Defensively, did you feel like you guys were kind of able to impose your will on them particularly early on? Oh, I'm sorry. Defensively, do you feel like you were able to kind of impose your will on Arkansas, especially early on? Um, I, I, I don't really. I mean, I thought our players played well. I thought we controlled on a scrimmage. I thought we were able to affect the quarterback. Um, you know, the explosive play that they made right before the half that, you know, led to a field goal and maybe an opportunity, or didn't lead to a field goal, but an opportunity for them to score when they got the ball down there. Um, you know, it was not good football on our part um, to play a coverage that allows them to hit a 50-yard pass when they're backed up and have four, four field positions. I think you got to make them drive it through and work a little harder than that. Um, so, but... You know, in the second half, I think they came out with the idea that, hey, we're not even going to try to run the ball against these guys. We're going to be, in, you know, spread it out, try to throw it. Um, and they made some plays, and we made some plays. We pressured the quarterback some, got him on the ground, sacked him, gave him some negative plays, and they made some plays. And when they moved the ball, it was because we didn't get off the field on third down three times in a row, like I mentioned before. Up front, right here in the middle, got a couple more. Coach, it looked like some adjustments were made in the second half. Were you pleased with the pass protection side? Well, I, I thought we made some good halftime adjustments. They didn't play exactly like we thought. Um, they pressured a lot more, especially in the second quarter when we started getting ahead of the game. Uh, so we made some adjustments at halftime that I think helped, helped us, gave us some quick throws um, so that Jayla could get the ball out of his hand. And, um, we knew that misdirection plays, the boots would work, and we made a couple of explosive plays on boots. Um, so I, I think the, the the things that we did at halftime were very beneficial to the way they were trying to play us. Last one in the back. Coach, can you talk about what you've seen from Henry Ruggs when he's on offense that you've liked so far this season? I like Henry Ruggs. You know, he's fast, he's explosive, he's got really good hands. So, He's going to be a great punt returner here, even though you all may kill him for you know missing the two that he missed today. I have a lot of confidence in him. Um, I, I think he's a very explosive guy. He's a hard worker. He's a good teammate. He's not a selfish guy at all. He doesn't get upset when he doesn't get the ball. Um, but he's done a pretty good job uh, of making some plays for us as a freshman and showing a lot of maturity in doing that. And we're really pleased with his progress. Okay. Thank you, Coach. All right, thank you.